You hear it every season. It's the Dallas Cowboys year. It never actually is, but delusional fans yell it anyways. I'm not saying it is the Cowboys year, but Dallas is certainly a Super Bowl contender. The Cowboys have one of, if not the best defenses in the entire league with one of the best defensive players in the league, Micah Parsons. The offense has been vastly improved since Dak Prescott returned from injury, and all of a sudden, the Dallas Cowboys are starting to look like a team that can seriously make some noise in the postseason. The Dallas Cowboys are Super Bowl contenders. The Dallas Cowboys looked really, really bad to start the season. Dallas faced Tampa Bay on Sunday Night Football, and the offense was abysmal. The defense was solid and only allowed 19 points to Tom Brady, but the offense couldn't move the ball. Dallas only scored three points and lost 19 to three, and to make matters worse, Dak Prescott suffered a thumb injury that ultimately needed surgery and sidelined him for five games. That meant that the fate of the Cowboys was put in the hands of Cooper Rush. Who? Well, Rush went 4-1. and one. That doesn't necessarily mean he was good per se. He threw for less than 1,000 yards and five touchdowns to three interceptions while only completing 58% of his passes. Basically, the defense carried him, but who cares? In week two, Dallas had a very, very impressive victory over the Bengals. Three of those five games were against NFC rivals too. The Cowboys defeated the Giants and Commanders but did fall to the Eagles in what was the last game Rush started. And he did a good job of ending any kind of stupid quarterback controversy by tossing three picks in that loss to Philadelphia. Dak Prescott returned in Week 7 to a Dallas team that was 4-2, and two, and they've gotten even better. Dallas is 5-1 and one since his return. More importantly, the offense has actually looked competent. When the Cowboys were winning games with Cooper Rush behind center earlier in the season, Dallas was winning, but it was because the defense wasn't allowing any points. Now, the defense is not only still dominant, but the offense can finally move the ball down the field. Dak got a few easy tune-up games to get right once he got back, taking down the Lions and the Bears and scoring 73 combined points in those contests. The lone Cowboys loss did come to the Packers in a game that Dallas led by 14 before the fourth quarter, but eventually lost in overtime. The Cowboys rebounded in a huge way, blowing out the Vikings 40 to 3. Yes, 40 to 3 to the Vikings. Minnesota was 8 and 1 coming into the game and Dallas beat them down on both sides of the field. Dallas defeated the Giants on Thanksgiving and on Sunday beat down a pretty bad Colts team in prime time, 54 to 19. Anybody that has watched the Dallas Cowboys this season knows why they are so good. The defense. Saying the Cowboys defense is elite is an understatement and it all starts with Micah Parsons. He is absolutely one of the best defensive players in football. Parsons has an 18.4% pressure rate and 12 sacks through 12 games this season. Parsons is coming off of winning Defensive Rookie of the Year, where he had 13 sacks in 16 games. Parsons has graded out as the fourth best pass rusher in the NFL at 91.7. Three other pass rushers have at least three sacks in Dallas. Dorrance Armstrong has eight, Demarcus Lawrence six, and Dante Fowler Jr. has five. Donovan Wilson has four sacks for Dallas, and he's graded out just above 90, 15 best in the league. The Cowboys pass rush has graded out at 85.2 the best in the league. Dallas has graded out as a top three coverage unit too at 85. Trayvon Diggs and Deron Bland have both snagged three picks this season and Malik Hooker has two. Three Cowboys have graded out at top 50 in terms of coverage and they're all actually on the edge. Micah Parsons, Dante Fowler Jr., and Sam Williams. Dallas has graded out as the ninth best defense overall in the league. On paper, the Cowboys' biggest issue has been at quarterback. Dak Prescott hasn't been nearly as good as you'd hope. In terms of raw stats, he's thrown for 1,500 yards and 13 touchdowns to 7 interceptions. As a pure passer, he's graded out as the 19th best of 38 qualifiers at 67.3. Just watching the Cowboys' offense, there have been a lot of issues and disappointments. Let me also make clear, there is in no way a quarterback controversy in Dallas. Dak Prescott is 
is not playing like a quarterback on a $160 million contract, but he is still significantly better than Cooper Rush, and who should be starting behind center. I just have expected more. He's thrown three picks in his last two games and six in his last five. There's just a lot more to be desired. I do think everything has gotten much better since Michael Gallup has returned from injury, but it doesn't change the fact that the passing game has been very one-dimensional this year. Only one player has over 400 receiving yards, C.D. Lamb. C.D.'s a stud. Nobody needs to convince you otherwise. He's the number one in Dallas and is looking in on 1,000 yards and has found the end zone six times. He has graded out as the seventh best wide receiver of 105 qualifiers. The Dallas Cowboys offense is disappointing, but it surely isn't his fault. The Dallas Cowboys offense starts and ends with the run game. Everything in Dallas goes through Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard, and the two of them have been amazing together. Tony Pollard has over 850 yards and eight touchdowns, and Ezekiel Elliott has found the end zone eight times and has over 650 yards. Receiving, Tony Pollard has also seen some usage with over 250 yards and two touchdowns. Pollard has graded out at 87.6, good for the fifth best rusher in the league. Elliott is down at 18th best with a 79.3 grade. As a unit, Dallas has graded out as the fifth best rushing team at 90.3, and run blocking has been 10th at 65.3. The defense in Dallas is very, very important, but without the rushing game, it is hard to imagine the Cowboys having too much success. At 9-3, the Dallas Cowboys should have the luxury of almost sleepwalking into the postseason. The 11-1 Eagles are on their way to winning the division, and of course, Dallas is going to try to catch them, but a wild card spot looks likely right now. The Cowboys only have five games left, and some of them look easy to say the least, particularly next week. Dallas gets to host the very, very bad Texans and turn around and visit the Jaguars. The last three games could be interesting. Philadelphia visits Dallas on Christmas Eve, and what could be the game that decides the winner of the NFC East. The Cowboys followed up with a trip to the Titans, who may be playing for playoff seating, and then Washington, who might be looking to secure a wild card spot of its own. As much as I hate the Dallas Cowboys, I do think this Dallas team is better than any previous Cowboys team since 2016. I still don't trust Dak Prescott 100%. I think he's played well enough, but not great. If the Cowboys go on a postseason run, it's going to come down to the run game and the defense, two departments Dallas is great in. I really like CeeDee Lamb, and getting Michael Gallup back has been huge for the passing game. I know the big question on the ground is Ezekiel Elliott or Tony Pollard, but the way Dallas has used both has been really good. The defense is the biggest reason why the Cowboys can make a run. It's really the only reason Dallas is even being talked about as an elite team. And it's a lot more than Micah Parsons, but it's hard to not first talk about him. He's almost always the most noticeable player on that defense. And if it weren't for Nick Bosa, he'd be the defensive player of the year. The pass rush has been good. The coverage has been good. The Dallas Cowboys have the pieces to be a quality postseason team, but they're still the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. They tend to find a way to screw it up, and I'm sure they will. And honestly, as a Washington fan, I hope they do.